boot camps just a costly scam or are they legit? Picture this. You're eager to break into the exciting world of cybersecurity and you stumble upon a boot camp that promises you a fast track to your career, an easy button that you can hit. Well, what if I told you that these seemingly promising programs might be nothing more than a colossal waste of your time and your money? Today, we're diving into the reality of cybersecurity boot camps and uncovering five major drawbacks that could leave you feeling completely deceived, such as sky high costs, obsolete content, poorly designed curriculum, a narrow focus on passing certification exams, and a lack of guaranteed success. Stick around to learn how you can sidestep this expensive mistake. One of the most significant drawbacks of cybersecurity boot camps is their exorbitant cost. It's common to find these programs charging around $12,000 or even more for their courses, similar to how much colleges cost, but that's not where the expenses end. The total investment can become downright daunting when considering the cost of certification and exam vouchers. Think of it this way, CompTIA Sec Plus, we talk about that all the time, 370 GX Security Essentials, the GSEC, that'll set you back $2,500. The Systems Security Certified Practitioner, the entry level one from ISC Squared, 250 bucks. ISACA Cybersecurity Fundamentals, no problem, 200 bucks. There are costs that just get added and added and added. It's brutal. And these are just entry level certs. Now let's put these figures into perspective. There are more cost effective alternatives that focus on hands on experiences tailored for entry level cybersecurity jobs. These options not only provide a more targeted learning environment, but also come with a significantly lower price tag. What options, Jerry? What are you talking about? Well, let me give you a couple, okay? IT Pro by ACI Learning, Black Hills Information Security's Anti-Siphon, the whole Cyber Human Initiative, the Cyber Mentor TCM Academy, Simply Cyber, my own school, and I even have a curated list of free to low cost resources all in one place on simplycyber.io under the free resources section. Go check that out. I just named a couple, right? You could also say Sand Cyber Aces, Cyber Fast Track, Range Force, Immersive Labs, Security Blue Team, INE. There's a million options and they're all either free or priced incredibly reasonably. Even my content, the GRC Analyst Masterclass at full price price is 30 bucks and we run specials all the time. And if you're interested in SOC analyst work, we got you covered there too. We just put together a sick YouTube playlist on doing just that. So when you weigh the benefits against the costs of cybersecurity boot camps, they can appear quite unattractive, can't they? Especially when considering the other issues that we'll discuss in this video. Another major issue with cybersecurity boot camps is the outdated material in their curriculum. And I, this drives me nuts. Instead of equipping students with the latest knowledge on what is current in the industry, boot camps focus on using outdated information. Costs to changing books and curriculum, that costs money, that takes time. And boot camps, it's all about that straight okay, cash. Homie. They just wanna get students in just to make sure that they pass their exams in many instances. It doesn't set them up for success when they actually go into the workforce and they're facing real world cybersecurity challenges. I myself teach a course at a college and I don't even use the textbook because it's so outdated. I don't make my students pay for it because it's ridiculous to ask them to spend $100 on a text that I'm not going to teach out of. The, the curriculum is a hot mess on fire. And look, cybersecurity is constantly evolving. New threats come out every single day that require professionals to stay up to date on the latest trends, the latest tools, the latest tactics that these threat actors are using. And these boot camps leave students ill-prepared to tackle the complexity of our industry. I have so many people approach me daily telling me that they paid tens of thousands of dollars in these boot camps and all they did was get pushed through to pass a test. <sighs> All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Again, if you've had a bad experience with a boot camp teaching outdated material or jamming you through to pass a cert or you paid an absorbent amount and didn't get the return on your investment, I wanna hear about it. Take a moment and share in the comments, if you will. I'd love to hear some people's stories if you're feeling comfortable uh, sharing that. Okay, but seriously, these programs attempt to push so much material to a student in such a short time. It's like a one-week boot camp, a two-week boot camp, and you're gonna cover everything. It just leaves the students struggling frankly, to absorb the most basic concepts, often confusing the students more than actually helping the students. So like literally, you're paying tens of thousands of dollars to be 
confused. Like awesome. That's awesome investment. These boot camps are given a superficial understanding of the subject matter, and it really fails to provide an in-depth understanding and expertise needed for the real world. Again, a lot of times they're focused on what is going to be on the cert exam, less about what is like, you know, in practice or, you know, best practices or lessons learned or things that you would see and understand, right? And you can't rush someone to learn. Students need ample time to practice and apply what they've just learned. If you can't give them hands-on experience or engage with them in a meaningful and practical way, it will negatively impact their chances of securing a job. I just mentioned all these courses above like TCM and Simply Cyber and ACI Learn, like all, all of them, right? If you want to break into cybersecurity, it's more important to find structured courses that allow for self-study and a deeper understanding of the material. You need the opportunity to develop practical skills, take time to absorb each topic thoroughly, and especially network fundamentals. I, I just want to shout out that networking, IT networking is critical, critical critical to understand. As a quick aside, if you need a boot camp to hold yourself accountable and make sure you focus on that, you don't need to pay tens of thousands of dollars to do that, right? Join a community, get together with other people studying, right? And have each other hold you accountable. It's going to save you time. It's going to save you money and you'll actually be networking with other uh, practitioners, which is a totally awesome thing to do. So all of this can help you build a solid foundation that prepares you for success and actually meet industry demands. Now, this leads me to the biggest issue issue I have with boot camps, okay? Most of the boot camps focus their entire curriculum on passing a certification exam. Don't get me wrong, right? I tell people all the time, Security Plus is a great certification to get, but it's supposed to be a testing that you have a certain level of knowledge, right? And you would study for that exam. But if all you're doing is the equivalent of a brain cram session, so you can do a data dump into a cert exam and get it, you're not actually learning anything. All you're doing is practicing your memory memorization skills for an exam and then you know a week after the exam it's gone right you really want to study conceptually what's going on, not just what boot camps are doing where it's like, okay, here's like eight domains that are covered in the SEC plus. Like we're gonna drill into each of these and they know what the exams look like, right? Because millions of people have taken the exams, the certification body issues, guidance on what the exams are gonna cover, what they look like, the percentages of each topic per question. And the boot camp, their main goal is to A, you know, obviously uh, make sure your check clears, right? Great cash, homie. But also to make sure that you pass, right? Because if you pass the certification after after taking their boot camp, they can count it as a win that their students have high, you know, cert rates. Not high ability to secure a job or high ability to be an industry practitioner, right? By studying just for the exam itself, you're not fostering a well-rounded understanding of cybersecurity. And it's crucial to recognize that attending a cybersecurity boot camp does not guarantee success, okay? If you want to succeed in the industry, you need to understand what your goals are. The most crucial aspect of building a successful cybersecurity career is identifying your goals before jumping into it. Do you want to be on the blue team and defend? Do you want to be on the red team? where you attack? Or do you want to try cybersecurity sales? Do you want to be an architect? Do you want to work in GRC? Do you like audit? Do you like marketing? Like, what do you want to do? And I know you can sample the buffet and see what's out there and then focus your energies and efforts on getting that particular job. But that's not what a boot camp's going to do for you. So there's no point in spending that money. Guys, do the free stuff first. Believe that. There are dozens of positions in cybersecurity, each with a unique training and certification requirement. And by pinpointing your interests and aspirations, you can actually tailor your learning path to your specific needs, which I might add will save you time, money, energy, effort, and it'll make you happier because you'll be doing what you actually want to do instead of blindly enrolling in a boot camp. Take some time to research them, okay? What do you want to do? Does the boot camp align to that? Find some well-respected learning options that align with your goals. This will not only save you money, but it ensures you're not wasting your time and you're gaining knowledge that'll actually help you get the desired career you want. I also want to point out, if I was going to spend any amount of money, I don't care if it's tens of thousands or if it's 50 50 bucks on a boot camp. I would find someone who has already gone through the boot camp. Ideally, find two people that have gone through the boot camp that are not affiliated with the boot camp and ask them what was their experience. Get that honest feedback. I wouldn't go and look at the reviews, right? I would try to find someone who has uh, that they passed that boot camp in their LinkedIn bio or LinkedIn profile or ask in a Discord server or something like that. Find someone, get that honest feedback. As a disclaimer, not all boot camps are scams. Not 100% are. There are some very legitimate, valid groups out there that are helping people learn. But by and large, the majority of them 
are cash grabs and they don't set students up for success. They're just everything I've covered in this video. They focus on one specific objective, pass this exam, and it's a, it's a brain cram, right? Or they, they run, 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 and you do a different topic every day and you have no idea how those different topics integrate. You're moving faster than you're able to absorb. You're still trying to figure out how to like click, click, clack, clack on the keyboard for like step one. And they're already on the next module, not even step two. They're like on the next module. And then you get frustrated and you're not going to get a refund. Believe that. Do your research. Um, again, not all boot camps are scams, just a lot of them are. Cybersecurity boot camps, they might seem like a quick way to break into the industry. I know that's certainly how they're marketed. And they come with a high cost. They have outdated material. They often have poorly planned curriculum. You have no idea who the actual instructor is. Sometimes they, you know, they might not know themselves. They're just teaching the curriculum as presented. So instead of investing in these programs, consider some of the paths that I mentioned earlier. There's links in the description below for all of them. Again, simplycyber.io slash resources uh, has hundreds of resources there. Do the free stuff first, right? I want to build a solid foundation that will impress future employers for you guys. And this is how you would do it, right? Remember the keys to success in InfoSec is to identify your goals and pursue the most relevant and efficient training to achieve them. We don't have a lot of time here, people. So you want to make sure that you're investing your time deliberately and giving yourself the best chance um, to pivot in or level up in the field. Don't be afraid to ask for help also, right? The community is filled with some of the most awesome and helpful people. I'm particularly biased. I think the Simply Cyber community is amazing. The people there are awesome, very supportive, very inclusive. Come over to the simplycyber.io slash discord, get on the server, say hi, say you saw this video and, and start, start growing with us today, all right? I appreciate all you guys did. If you made it this far, congratulations. I'm super pumped for you to start on some of these resources and don't forget to always stay secure.